If you'd like to listen to this in a still position, you can just take all the time you need to arrive there. <clears throat> you can let yourself fidget and move in whatever ways you need to. Um, maybe some neck rolls will feel good. Maybe some side body bends or torso twists. Just anything that all, at all that feels good in your body, letting yourself move in those ways. And if what feels best in your body right now is stillness, then just honoring that stillness. There is zero rush whatsoever. You can continue to move for as long as you need to. And at any point, if you are feeling ready to come to a still position, uh, then you may do so with the spine nice and straight. And if you're in a place where you feel safe and would like to, you can allow the eyes to gently close at any time if they aren't already. And you can mark your arrival into your practice today, into your body today, with a full and intentional cleansing breath. As you take a long, slow inhale in through the nose, letting yourself fill up fully as you just pause for a moment to really feel that sense of fullness and then slowly exhale all of that out of you bit by bit pushing that last bit of stagnant air out of you and again pause to just feel that sense of emptiness as you let your next breath come to you as it's needed So you can breathe just like this for a few more rounds for as long as it feels good and helpful just by exaggerating the four parts of your breath. The inhale, that pause at the top of the inhale, followed by the exhale, and that pause at the bottom of the exhale. Just consciously, intentionally slowing down the process of your breath. And at any time that you'd like to, if you haven't already, you can just release this guidance over your breath altogether. And just let yourself come into that role of the witness or the role of the observer. And just simply watch as your body breathes you, rather than having any direct influence over the depth or rhythm of the breath but just reminding yourself how the breath is this one bodily function that can be either voluntary or automatic. So just reminding yourself playing with that control and release of control as we begin today. Looking at your breath now as any other force of nature, as maybe waves rolling up along the shoreline not trying to change anything about the waves and how they're rolling onto the shore, but just sitting back and watching as they do. And it is perfectly okay if watching the breath without having any influence over the breath feels difficult today. Some days it does for whatever reason. So wherever you are right now in your body, in your practice, you can just start to bring some attention to your own face. And even with the eyes closed, even without being able to see your face, just noticing if there's any resting tension in areas of the face, maybe any resting expression that, be, that could be communicated by the tension on your face. Maybe the brow is furrowed or the jaw is tight. Maybe the nostrils are slightly flared or the chin is holding. And the next time that your body exhales, just see if you can allow the muscles in your face to just hang off of the bones slightly to release back into the support of your skin. Just trusting that it is safe for you to be soft. 
You can allow your jaw to hang heavy. You can allow your tongue to soften the chin and the nostrils, the cheeks and the upper jaw and ears. And the eyelids, and the eyebrows, and the whole width and depth of your forehead. Just letting it expand a little bit more as the hairline softens back. And even allowing your eyeballs to rest in their sockets. Just letting your gaze to rest wherever it is looking. And just allowing that same sense of release and softness and letting go to just naturally continue to spread down your body, to cascade across your scalp and down both sides of the neck, the back of the neck, the front of the neck, as you just let the shoulders be heavy and soft feeling the space between the shoulders and the ears get a little bit longer just by relaxing, not by pulling or moving, but just by softening and just letting go into your own body, into the safety of your anatomy, just trusting, reminding yourself to trust that everything will be held right where it needs to be without any of your direction, without any of your specific doing. The arms and hands heavy. The rib cage just resting against the lungs. The muscles of the abdomen resting against the organs. Feeling the pelvic floor and glutes soften as you just almost let yourself melt into the seat beneath you or whatever surface is beneath you. All the muscles in the legs and feet getting even softer. And just bringing some attention to the shape of your shoulders and your heart. And just noticing if there's maybe a more safe stance being taken, maybe the shoulders coming forward to slightly protect the heart. And just seeing if you can let the tips of your shoulders reach a little bit further away from each other as you just let your collarbones broaden and just let your heart sit more forward in the body in this proud position as the chin slightly tucks toward the heart and you feel the back of your neck getting nice and long and just clearing that path from your heart through the back of your neck and into the brain. Letting your body soften into this posture. As you just bring more of your awareness to come into your physical heart. This rhythm that is beating inside of you every single moment of your life. And if at any point you have trouble feeling your own heartbeat, you can always place one or both hands on top of the heart to just encourage that feeling from the outside as well. Just syncing up your awareness, your attention with your own heartbeat. Just remembering the pure gift that this heart is. How this heart has been pumping life into you, through you, from the time you were in your mother's womb up to this exact moment. And it will continue to do so for as long as you need to be here. Just 
and maybe even starting to see the pathways of your own veins and vessels coming from the heart seeing a depiction in your mind of what your anatomy looks like right now and how your heart is physically connected to every inch of your body through these pathways of veins and vessels. Maybe even feeling a sense of a heartbeat in your toes or your feet. Maybe in your hands or fingertips or even in the crown of your head or any area in between. And if there's areas in your body right now that are in pain, or if you feel emotionally in pain, or if there's any darker things that might be coming up as you allow yourself to sit in this quiet space, just doing your best to not push those down or away, but just simply allowing those things to arise and come up and out. Sometimes we think when there's painful memories or feelings, sensations, that if we ignore them or look away from them as much as we can, that they will eventually go away. But typically, at least what I have found in my life, is that this usually does the opposite. And what really allows things to, or what allows you to move on from painful things or move forward with painful things with more strength is noticing them, is acknowledging them. Because without your acknowledgement of them, they have the power to more insidiously control you and your initial reactions to things. Of bringing them or shining the light of your own awareness into those darker spaces within you can make it feel a lot less scary. And if there's physical pain anywhere in the body, doing your best to bring more of your awareness into that area. Because it can feel natural to want to distract from those painful sensations or look anywhere else than to actually feel what hurts. And sometimes that is exactly what we need to do. But if it feels intri or intriguing or if you feel curious about what this could feel like, then seeing what it's like to just bring all of your awareness to wherever it hurts. If your stomach isn't feeling too great, just bringing more and more of your attention into the stomach and bringing on this curious perspective with how you are looking at the feelings that you have. Becoming curious about why they are here, what they might want to tell you, if anything. Or maybe none of that comes up at all. Maybe it's just a loud sensation that really wants attention and just giving it that attention for a few deep breaths for as long as you can. And just noticing as you are feeling whatever you need to feel, noticing how the rest of your body responds to these sensations. Maybe how the face responds or the hands. Maybe some of that tension we release starts to creep back. And just exhaling into those spaces once again, reminding yourself that it is safe for you to release. We are all ultimately safe in these bodies. Our body a part of the earth and our souls a part of wherever they come from. And both will return where they need to be when it's time. 
but even with that knowledge or that truth there might be things that come up when you remind yourself of this ultimate sense of safety of things that are happening in your life right now that maybe don't support this safety and again allowing those things to be there to come up any healing practice or meditation practice is not about ignoring the unpleasant things or only looking at positive and ignoring negative it is about simply sitting with what is for you and if what is for you is all great feelings right now soaking in all of that letting yourself absorb all the goodness that you feel and if what is for you right now is a lot of pain and sorrow then allowing that to be here as well all of our practices are going to look different every single moment we show up because we are always changing what you need is changing as well so if you need to cry if you need to yell or shake or do whatever you need to do just letting your body release what it needs to release in the way it needs to release it and just trusting this natural intelligence that your body has and the most helpful analogy I have for um, just allowing yourself to be in whatever phase of life you're in is the moon analogy that comes from ancient Hellenistic astrology and in that practice the moon is the representation of our physical body so our bones our muscles our skin all the physical and if you think about our body it is just matter it is just animated by our inner spark maybe our soul whatever you want to call it and just as the moon is does not have its own light but it reflects the light of the sun and there are times where the moon is full and it is completely illuminated by the sun it is bright it is shining light for others in the darkness it's whole connected all those good things and there are also times that that same moon is a new moon and it's not reflecting any light from the sun it is still there you can almost see it but it is in the dark it's in the shadows it's not able to share any light for the moment and then there's all the phases in between this new moon and the full moon and we operate in a very similar way in a way that is the cycles are unique and complex to us and sometimes we will feel completely connected to life and to ourselves and to the world around us and feel capable of shining light for others in the darkness and other times we feel disconnected maybe in the dark itself in the shadows like we need to recharge and then there's all the phases in between and the moon is not meant to stop at a full moon and be full all of the time just like we are not meant to be that way all the time we are just simply meant to move through these cycles of life and all of these changes that we will go through with as much ease as we can and just reminding yourself that whatever phase of life or whatever phase of anything you are in right now is right where you need to be and it is temporary the next phase will always come the one thing that we can count on in life is change we are always changing how we feel is always changing even when it feels like we felt this way forever and we're always going to feel this way that is never going to be true the only thing 
that is a solid truth is that things change. So just allowing that to be a comfort to you if you are in more of a new moon phase right now, just allowing yourself to do whatever you need to do to comfort yourself in these phases, in these changes that you go through. Just allowing yourself to rest as much as you need, whatever way that looks to you. And also using that same thing as permission for you to fully soak in all the good things that you feel and to just make the most of when you are feeling great and to share the things you need to share to experience what you want to experience in this life when you have that energy and time. Just allowing this to come to you, allowing this to be your reminder whenever you have those feelings that come up that maybe have should in it, where you feel like you're feeling really bad or really down and gloomy and you're telling yourself, well, I should feel happy, I should feel grateful, I should feel motivated. And just letting those be cues for you to investigate a little further and Maybe find that whatever you are feeling is exactly what you should be feeling and it will also change. And so just getting rid of that heaviest extra layer that we put on ourselves of trying to be different from how we are right now. And we are allowed to fully embrace and accept and love who we are in this exact moment and at the same time have aspirations to versions of ourselves that we see in the future that we would like to be. These things do not are not mutually exclusive. We can love ourselves fully and at the same time love past versions of ourselves in the mistakes we made because they've made us who we are right now and have a sense of trust and maybe even excitement for future versions of you that you would like to see in this world. So you can once again just check back in with your body and allow yourself to soften again. Allow everything that you've heard today, all the words maybe swirling around like in a snow globe, just letting the snow globe settle, letting all the thoughts settle down and just trusting that anything you've heard today that has resonated with you or really struck a chord with you is just when you hear on the outside what a part of you already knows to be true on the inside. So just allowing those truths to be enhanced within you. So you feel a little bit more confidence with yourself and your own instincts. A little bit deeper trust with yourself. And if it feels like something you would like to do today, you can just let your hands find each other in a prayer position toward heart center. And just feel this pulsing of your palms and fingers into each other. You can press your thumbs toward your heart and let your heart lift back toward your thumbs. And and take a final deep and full breath into the body, just letting yourself fill up to every corner and edge of you. And as you exhale, letting go of anything you're ready to let go of, as you let your head gently bow. And just taking this moment to bow to the source of energy that allows all of our hearts to beat whatever you believe that to be.
Bowing to everyone else in this space who has listened and completed this practice right alongside you. And finally bowing to yourself for choosing to show up today and taking the time out of your busy life for this pure act of self-love and self-care. And may this act continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights. And may you bring the same love and understanding to everything you do and to everyone that you see. Thank you.